I am here. <laughs> Just wait a few minutes, uh, see if anybody else comes in. Well, this isn't going to be a very long live stream. I was intending to have a couple of beers with it, but um, I'm not quite sure where it is. I did actually wash my clothing in a washing detergent I haven't used before. So I don't know if it's that, but I've got all these rashes coming up all over my body. This this is a... I've changed the shirt and everything since, because, sort of, well, it's itchy and horrible. And to be quite honest with you, I don't feel too brilliant. <laughs> I feel all itchy and horrible. I don't feel like drinking a beer. I've got a glass of water. <sighs> so, yeah, so I'm not drinking any beer. Well, I did take some antihistamines or whatever they're called, some trying to oh, affect it. But, yeah, I'm terribly itchy and feeling horrible. So, yeah, but I did promise I'd do this live stream. I'm not going to have any beer. I'm just not going to have a beer today. Uh, it was supposed to be a couple of beers for my birthday. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to stick with the water at the moment. I don't want to affect the medication I've taken. So anyway, who's in the chat? Who who do we have here today? Uh, putting your names in the uh, live chat so uh, I know who I'm talking to. Yeah, we go. Ah, Mark's here, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it's not going to be... Oh, I can't just stop itching. I'm terrible. I've been like this all day. I've got lumps on my face. It really is uncomfortable. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I say it could be just an allergic reaction... I know I used a different brand soap um, or wash detergent for doing my clothes the other day. And whether it's affected me, I don't know. But I know that the shirt that I had on yesterday was washed in that detergent. And um, and the one I put on this morning also was. And I've, and I've still kept itching, so I've changed. Now, I know this shirt was washed before I swapped laundry detergents. So I'm hoping I'm going to be good. But, um, yeah, not a great day for my birthday. Is it going like this all day long? <laughs> Thank you, Pete. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's water, I'm afraid. No beer. Has anyone got any questions to ask me about anything, about boating or whatever um all it is uh as i say I'm, i'd normally be talking about how the beer tastes but um yeah i, I just don't want to i just don't want to take the risk so um i'm not going to have a beer i did actually was given two bottles of beer which i was gonna actually have today by a fellow youtuber uh she is from i don't know if you know uh, a mindful narrowboat vanessa well, her husband gave me a couple of beers for my birthday a few days, well, about a week ago now. And I was going to drink those, which were from a local brewery where I was at the time at Congleton, which is Bear, what is it called? Um, so Bear Brewery. Bear Town Brewery. It's called Bear Town Brewery. And I did want to go and visit it, actually. But I arrived there late Saturday afternoon. And I googled it to see when they were open, and guess what? They only open Saturdays. You know, book up in advance to have the tour, so I couldn't stay there for a week. I had a, it was a forty-eight hour mooring, so I moved on. Well, come back. I'm back in Kidsgrove at the moment, um, but I might well be going that way again. And if I do, I will plan to make sure I get there say on a Friday, so I can do the brewery tour on the Saturday. So that's still logged up here to do but whether i get that way or not yet i'm I've got a few things all planned now i've got to change i was just disappearing up north and i was going to stay up there probably for the winter this year 
but that's all changed because I've booked my boat in to get its bottom blacked. And that is on the 28th of October. I know it's a long way off yet, but I've booked it in down near Rugby. So I'm going to have to go back that way somewhere. And at the moment, I can't get through because of the um, the breach, or not the breach, um, the uh, embankment slippage um, near Brinklow, where the uh, North Oxford Canal is still blocked at the moment and probably will be to at least the end of May. So I'm not... I think in case they don't get safe and doesn't get done, I'm going to go down the Trent to Mersey, onto the River Trent, up the Saw Navigation, onto the um, Leicester line of the Grand Union Canal, Grand Union Canal, Braunston, North Oxford, and back that way. It's a long loop round, but I know that's all open. So... <laughs> So I'm going to have to set off if I'm going to do that loop quite shortly. Um, and because I don't like travelling too much every day, as you probably know. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, you drink a couple for me. I did have a couple last night, but um, yeah, I went out and had a couple of very nice beers last night. Uh, it's got what was called Dark Dark Flagon, I think it was called. It was a rum porter. Very good. Um, by... The Wiley Fox Brewery, I think it was called. The Wiley Fox Brewery, yes. I'm in Kids Grove, so. Yeah, um, I'm, and the uh, pub I've been into um, is the Blue Bell here at Kids Grove. They have excellent selection of beer and ciders in there. They've always got like half a dozen real owls on, you know, cast condition owls, hand pull, and and also about half a dozen or more still ciders. Yes, I like it up around this area. It's very handy as well. I'm more just below the first lock, the, the top lock. And for shopping, you've got little almost on the doorstep, and Tesco just up around the corner. And if you carry on up the hill, there's an Aldi as well. So everything's quite handy for shopping. So it uh, makes it really, really good. Thank you very much from Australia. It's wonderful how people can join in, isn't it, these days from around the world. And you all, you know, all chat to each other in the chat. And you all watch my ugly mug on the screen if you want to. Or... Uh, Probably switch over and watch that else and just listen. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's uh, water. But I do have those two Bear Town beers. And I will probably do a little live stream with those um, shortly. It won't be this Wednesday. There's a definite... And I probably won't even have a video out this Wednesday because I'm doing this today. And I've got a few things going on this week I've got to sort out. All to do with the boat. I'm just getting a few jobs sorted out. So it's a. Uh, I've got the. I'm going to be busy, <laughs> shall we say? After doing the water pump, I. Well, I'm going to. I'm trying to put the new galley in, the new kitchen, because that was the the cupboards are just ruined. Um. So I'm going to go around and get costed and all that. So I'll do a bit of walking to go and find places and um, try and cost it all out. See if the, uh, you know, the pennies run to it. Um, so that's, um, and I'd like to get someone to fit it and have it done professionally. But I don't think the pennies will run that far. But some of these places I know do fit in as well. And sometimes they're, they're not too bad to get it all done in one hit, but. We'll see. And I'm sorry about this. I just can't stop itching. It's Sarah. Oh, Sarah. Oh, Sarah. Hey, hello. My uh, Sarah uh, is my um, cousin. Well, I guess I got the right Sarah anyway. <laughs> Floor in is basically done. I did put a 
photograph on Facebook of it being basically done. The only bit's not done is on the main area of the boat is where I'm going to join it into the kitchen flooring. Um, I can't put down the um, the no the um, laminate flooring in there um, because you can't get it in and around the cupboards. You know, it won't fold in and you can't get it to go in. So I'm going to be buying, um, you know, more of a vinyl lay type flooring and putting it in there. Uh, there's a place here in town which does offcuts and all that sort of thing. And they do carpets and everything, you know. But, um, they have a lot of offcuts I've seen there. So I'm going to wander up around there and see what they've got. I've measured it all up. So I'm not going to fit, put the very last piece in to the kitchen until I've got the kitchen floor as well so I can make sure the joins in the right place. Otherwise, um, well, you know, you could be a millimetre out or a couple not millimetre I could deal with, I, you know, the, the, um, the join that the, wherever your tread will go across there and cover that. But just to make sure it all fits in right, I'm going to do it all in one hit and that bit. But, so, but I, I basically got one left, one little, pe little piece about that long and it's got to be cut about that wide about that wide and, a, and about day long no it's about that long it's the width of width that is here basically my arm width so that, anyway so uh, I've got this still got plenty of the flooring to put down so I still got plenty of the flooring so it's not a problem I've got you know to do it with it's just I just want to finish it off properly and neat and tidy so it all ties in together and I didn't want to cut it also and leave a rough edge until I put the kitchen flooring in because obviously you're going to tread on that and damage the edge. I want to do it all at one time so I can put in the um, the um, tread across so it doesn't get any damage to the edges. hope that makes sense. So, yeah, so I say it's just going to be a little short video today. Um, I, well, I'd say I'm, it feels wrong not having a beer. <laughs> Water doesn't go down the same, does it? No, I don't know if um oh yes, Sarah. <laughs> um yes, yeah, so I I really just don't know um um what else to talk about really. Um I never came not really but I was prepared to be talking about beer and I looked up a little bit about those two beers so I knew something about them. And uh, now I just, I say, I just don't, I just don't feel like drinking them. Thank you, Karen. And so, yeah, so it's horrible it's itching this, I tell you, I can't stop itching. Uh, the, 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 it was like, um, it looked like a stinging nettle rash or if in the US or whatever, um, more of a poison ivy sort of rash in places. Um, I know it's not because um, I haven't been outside in the sting and that was all any poison. Well, we don't have poison ivy in the UK, so obviously I, I, I couldn't get poison ivy. But um, and I certainly haven't been touching any sting and nettles, so I just really don't know what it is. Besides, it possibly probably be being the soap powder or actually the liquid I use in the washing machine. But I know what I'm not going to use it again, and I'm going to go back to the one I've been using. Up to now, so uh, or before, so only that I didn't have it in the store when I went to buy it. Then I, I thought, oh, that would do, and I'm glad. Oh, probably that would do is not a good idea. Hi, Carl. Nice to see you in the chat. Um, yeah, really nice, and thank you very much. Uh, happy birthday wishes. And I haven't seen a Blackhawks game for months and months and months. <laughs> Just to let you know. I haven't got a clue how they're doing. Last time I... The trouble is, if I watch it, I can pick it up on my... on the fire stick. But the trouble is, if I watch it on the fire stick and, the, and it's like three o'clock in the morning and times like this, it's, I, I just can't cope with it these days. I'm just too old for it. Just too old to be staying up to two or three o'clock in the morning to watch watch it. I did watch one once, which was on, uh, I think it was a Saturday or a Sunday 
you know, one of the 12 o'clock kickoffs or face-offs. I did watch one then, but um, that, of course, still was like 10 o'clock at night here. Well, when it started, it was 6 o'clock at night, I think. But by the time it finished and everything, it was getting on. But that, that's fine. I can do that. But I got to know that they're coming on at that time. No more questions there. Yeah, so I, my eyes are watering as well now. What all that is. Yeah, so I think I ought to just round this up then. Um, as, unless anyone's got any questions, as I say, I've got not really much to talk about. I've got a few projects coming along in the pipeline to do. Um, and um, you know, I'll get those done, and I'll try and video some of them. I want, I, oh, I, one thing I did find out, um, I think a lot of you know, I bought two new solar panels and fitted, I've, well, I got them at Christmas because I got them delivered to my parents' house and I fitted them in January. And one I fit, fitted down and exactly where I wanted it to go. The other one's not at the moment. It's just cable tied to the handrails of the roof, on the roof. Um, because the, my original two, I wasn't too sure how good they're working. Well, we had a nice sunny day the other day, so I I, I didn't disconnect them. I, what I did was I threw a big towel over the top of them to see how much difference it made on the ampage I was receiving in from my solar panels. Well, the, I was at this point in time, I was receiving about 9.4 amps total coming in, and when I covered them up, it went down to 9.2 amps. So obviously the two old ones are not really producing anything worth taking up the space for. So I'm going to get one new one, one more new one. Can't afford to get two more new ones. So I'm going to get one more new one, and then I'm going to put a two, the one which is on the roof, just cable tied down, and the new, never new one will go on top of the old two, or you know where the old two are. Thank you very much, uh, Noah. Yeah, I, and I um, hope everybody's enjoying a, a beer or two there. I guess um, that is something in Welsh that I don't understand. <laughs> is that happy birthday in, in, in uh, Welsh? By... Um, my ability of speaking Welsh is absolutely zero. Yeah, so I, I think I'm going to just wrap this up. I'm going to... I feel terrible sitting here itching. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just going to wrap it up anyway. Um, I will say I've not really much to discuss. And I'll do another beer stream. It's probably going to be in two weeks' time. I'm not. I, I will announce it in next Saturday's video when I will do it because I haven't finished editing next Saturday's video yet. So I'll I'll announce it and then when I'm going to do another beer stream, it will probably be the following Wednesday. So that will give people a little bit of time. Yeah. Um. I'm not so sure about heat and rashes going together. I think you want cold, don't you, on rashes? I don't feel like a cold shower. <laughs> I showered this morning anyway, but uh, let's see how things go. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm gonna, I'll be honest with you, I've been laying on the bed most of the day just feeling sorry for myself. <laughs> I'm supposed to be going out at six o'clock tonight over the pub and um, meeting the, you know, a lot of the locals that I know around this area. Um, I can't see that happening either. I'd probably just walk up there and let them know I'm not coming. Because this is only a 50 yards away. So I'll just walk up there and let them know I'm not, not the, so they don't think I just haven't turned up. But yeah, it's, it feels horrible. Love the beer streams. I know you do. <laughs> Big supporter of the beer streams. I know that much. Um, and you know, some great beers we've had that you've sent me uh, on the beer streams. I've still got some of those beers left, by the way. Um, but I think we've done most of them on beer streams. There was double ups on a lot of them. I, I think I've done most of them. 
Uh, so we'll see, we'll see what we do there. So anyway, I'm going to say goodbye to you all. Thank you very much for joining me today. 65 today, guys. Yeah, an old man. Um, well, sort of basically re properly retired today. Um, I will be getting my company pension. Um, well, it's, they start paying on the 28th of March. So I won't have four days and I'll be getting some company pension coming in. Uh, so that's all, you know, so that, that's going to help me out a lot. Um, I'm not going to be rich still. <laughs> it's not a fortune, I can assure you. But it's going to definitely make a change, uh, you know, being able to not actually check every single penny I'm spending, perhaps. Although I probably won't get out of that mode. But anyways, um, yeah, so the sort of birthday and retirement all in one. And um, thank you, Willie. Thank you very much. Yeah, so on, uh, on that note, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Trevor out. Find the button now to stop it. Oh, there it is.